Hey, Ryan here from webeminence.com. I'm excited to show you an updated review of the Squarespace website builder. I reviewed it in August of 2013 and it's now June of 2015 and Squarespace has skyrocketed in popularity thanks to a couple Super Bowl commercials. Squarespace was good back when I reviewed it the first time, but it's much better now. So let me show you how it works so you can see if it's a good option for you to build your website. It's always good to look at a website builder's homepage where they sell their service and in the case of Squarespace, it does tell you a lot about their actual website builder. Their homepage is pretty dynamic. It changes often. So if you were to come here a few weeks after the day I'm recording this, it's probably going to look different. And it has a very simple look. It's basically uh, white and black and some different gray tones. And the only color on the page are the photographs. And that's typical of the design themes that you'll get when you use the Squarespace website builder. When you scroll down, you see it's a very modern website. It's got a lot of parallax effect and animations as you scroll down the page. You can see the pricing at the time I'm recording this is $8 for a personal account, $16 for professional, and $24 for business. A personal account is going to work for most people who just need to create a basic informational website. The first thing you're going to do after you sign up, and you can get started for free, just a trial their website builder, but you're going to choose from their templates. So you're going to choose a template for your website. You are able to switch between templates in the future, which is a nice feature. Some website builders, you need to start over from scratch when you want to switch designs. With Squarespace, you can actually switch designs and keep all your content. I'm sure you're going to have to make some changes, but uh, you won't lose all the work you've done. So scrolling through their designs, you can see they're really sharp. They're modern. Uh, I can click on a live preview for some of these. And that allows you to scroll through the website and see what it actually looks like. Their designs are very simple, striking, and elegant. Uh, they have large images and they have simple fonts that are usually uh, just black and white. And they also have a lot of space on the website, so nothing's crowded to give it a nice clean feel. One thing I like to point out to people is you do need a lot of images with Squarespace uh, templates. As we uh, look through their templates, you'll notice a lot of them have large images. And if you were to take away the images, it would basically be a black and white plain sight. So you will need to have high resolution images, either your own images or the ability to get stock photos to use on your site in order to get the kind of look that you see in their examples. So Squarespace tends to be a great option for people who want to create really visual sites using images and a really clean and modern look. So, you know, here's an example of a wedding website. Uh, photographers often use Squarespace or people in other creative uh, businesses. Once you choose your design template, you'll be taken to the website builder. And this is what it looks like. You have your website on the right hand side. This is where you actually build the site. The left hand side is the menu that I'll go through uh, from this page you can always click this arrow in the upper left to view a live preview of your site and then you click it again just to go back to the builder and then there are options to view your site on mobile and tablet view I'm gonna go through it uh, in the desktop view most of these templates will have pre-populated content so they'll have images and text so you can just go ahead and edit all the content that is there or you can delete it and start over so I started putting together some pages. So I'm just going to click on an example page that I created with some text and videos just to show you how the different content is added to a page. The actual build in Squarespace is a little bit different than what you see in some other popular website builders. It's not a drag and drop interface where you drag widgets to the display view of your site. You actually move around the display view of your site and edit it right where it is. So as I scroll around here, you can see I can edit different elements by clicking on the edit button that pops up in this black bar. So here's the main page content bar. I'm going to click edit and it's going to bring up another window where I can then edit all the elements within that block. So I've already added a video block. I have text over here. This is a quote box. I have an audio block right here. Here's a gallery. And the way to add other items is you see as I move my mouse around, these little black markers pop up. 
and these are showing me where I can add items. So if I wanted to add an element below this video, I would just click on this little black marker here and it brings up all the content blocks that I have available to add. So they have all the basic content blocks like text and images, audio, video, slideshow galleries, but Squarespace has a lot of content blocks and widgets available that you just don't see in other website builders like a markdown content block that people can use who uh, who know the markdown language they have a few different gallery styles they have summary content blocks which allow you to visually summarize on one page a collection of content from another area of your website which can come in really handy uh, under the more category here they have spacers they have maps it has an open table content block a menu a code content block that allows you to put in a programming code within the website without losing the formatting as a calendar newsletter and down here there's still more there's buttons links a tag cloud here's the options for adding uh, their commerce products like a product uh, Amazon link and a donation button they also have charts which I've never seen in other website builders bar charts line charts and pie charts and then a bunch of social blocks that you can add. So just to show you how one is added, I'm going to click on the text block and it just adds a text content block and I can just paste in some text there and I can format it using the text formatting bar right here. And that's how content is added to the page. It might take people a while, it actually took me a while to figure out how to create these columns. But the way to do that is actually by grabbing one of the content blocks and moving it over to the side until you see one of these black lines indicating that it can be dropped there. So if I was to drop it in between these blocks, it would create another column. So you can easily move these blocks around to create the layout that you want. It can get a little bit tricky when you start adding a lot of columns, um, but it is pretty intuitive once you uh, figure out how it works. So that's the process of actually building a site. Obviously, each one of these different content blocks has their own settings. I can't go through that in this video because it would probably take a couple hours. But um, for example, if you click on video, you can choose a video URL. You can display a caption. If I was to click on this gallery block and click edit, I could go in and change the pictures that are in the gallery and then there's a number of options to change the design of the gallery block. So if I scroll down the page, you'll just see some of the other blocks that I added. This here is just a line block. Here's a map. Here's the code block showing some code that was added. Products is just a content link that links to another page. And here's a menu block that makes it really convenient to add uh, a food menu. So once you're done editing those content blocks, you can click save or cancel and it's gonna take you back to the website builder. And another important part of the actual build process in Squarespace is actually adding pages. So you can see I've added a number of pages but to do that, you click on Pages on the left-hand side, and here's a list of all the pages that I've already added. And I've added a number of different pages just to test them out, but to give you an idea of what you can add, you click on the plus sign there to create a new page, and here's the different types of pages they allow you to add. So there's just Page, which is just a standard page. There's Products, which is an e-commerce page. Cover Page allows you to do some different things with like one page designs and landing pages. So if I were to add one of those, I'll show you real quick what that can look like. It's just a single page with a large image and a button to go to the next page and you can use different layouts. So usually this will be used on your homepage to kind of give an attractive intro to your website.
or maybe your entire website is just going to be the cover page. So if we go back to add pages, there's a folder that can be added which is just for organization. There's album that can be used to actually have um, audio files playing like an album. Uh, index pages are used a lot of times for home pages as well. So if I click on one of the index pages I've added, you see underneath it it has a new page and a new gallery. So an index page basically gives a visual representation and then links to these pages so people can link to new page and new gallery from this index page. There's a blog page, gallery page, events page, and then there's a link option that just allows you to link to an internal or external page uh, from your main navigation. So once you've added all the pages and added all the content blocks to your pages, uh, another big part of building a site with Squarespace is under the design category. So you click on design, you have this whole list of options to go through and one of the first things I'm going to show you is logo and title so you can change your title there you can add a logo image but one cool thing they have is a logo designer so you can actually click on create a new logo and this is new since the last time I reviewed it but you could just type in your business name and then click the arrow to go and then you can click on the text and change the font to whatever you want and then you can click on these elements and drag them around and then save it to use on your website. So that's a pretty cool option for getting a unique logo up on your website pretty quick and easy. So if I go back to the design menu, uh, I already showed you the templates. This is where you'd go to change to a different template and then the style editor is another important thing to look at because this allows you to change the styling throughout your website. So you can change colors and fonts in all of these different areas and they actually show you the difference live on your site. If I scroll over any of these items, they actually are highlighted on the right hand side to show me what I'm about to edit. So if I was to change the navigation color to orange, it would change right away on my site. So you can change the colors for pretty much everything and you could also change the fonts for all these different items here and they have a lot of pre-installed fonts. You can see as I scroll through there's got to be a couple hundred here. And then you can also change some different spacings like the content width of the page, the header spacing and things like that to give your site a little bit different layout. Go back to the design menu. You can change the checkout page. I'm not going to go through that. There's a lock screen you could change Announcement bar is a pretty cool feature that I've never seen in another website builder. But you can enable announcement bar and just type in some text here and it'll show up on your site at the top. You can also add a mobile information bar that will show on uh, mobile phones only. And it's just going to show some basic information like email, phone number, location, and business hours. And other than that, there's a Squarespace badge, there's custom CSS where you can add your own styling. I've used this to change some of the options on mobile phones, even though most of the templates are mobile responsive already. You may need to tweak some things with custom CSS. I may have to do a separate video on Squarespace Commerce, but I am pretty impressed with the e-commerce capabilities that Squarespace offers. They've always been focused on e-commerce and they've continued to uh, develop what they offer. So you can integrate shopping into your site. You can add products through this inventory tab. It's really easy to add new products. You can change all the shipping options. They have coupons and taxes. And then under store settings is where you would connect uh, your merchant account and they actually uh, partner with Stripe. So you'd have to have a Stripe account to accept payments for products through um, Squarespace Commerce. So if we continue down the menu, they also have metrics. It shows you a nice visual view of traffic on your site, subscribers, mobile usage, and the search engine queries that are leading people to your site. There's a comments section where you manage uh, the comments that are made on your blog posts and other pages. And then there's a number of settings that you can change. Then here, here's where you'd manage the domain names. Uh, you could link a custom domain name under here 
and then email settings as well. They don't provide email addresses, but they do partner with Google Apps to um, give you email addresses on your domain name. So that's pretty much the quick scoop on Squarespace. I could probably spend a couple hours going through all the details of each content block and all the different settings you could change. But I just wanted to give you an overview so you can get an idea of how it works and maybe understand if it might be a good option for your website. Obviously you could create a much more polished website than I have here. I just kind of threw things together just testing how they work. But if you go to the template section on the Squarespace sales page, you can see examples of sites that other customers have created using their design templates. And that should give you a pretty good idea of the capabilities that Squarespace has and whether or not it'll be a good fit for your website. So my final word on Squarespace as of uh, 2015 and going into 2016 is it's a great option for creating your website. You can create a beautiful and modern website that works on desktops, tablets, and smartphones. There are tons of features as you saw in my video and Squarespace continues to be an innovator in the website builder market and they have more options for content blocks and widgets to add to your site than any other website builder I've seen. The only downsides I would say to Squarespace is it's not maybe as simple to use as something like Weebly and while there are a lot of great design templates a lot of them are very similar and it will be very dependent on having high quality images as I mentioned earlier in the video. So if you think it might be a good fit for you, go over to squarespace.com. You could have, get a free trial. Uh, make sure to check out some of my other videos on other website builders to see if some of the other ones might be a good fit for you. And subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Good luck, and we'll see you on the next one.